many people have complained on the recent Windows updates. If you have been trying to update your Windows laptop but you're getting the installation error or it keeps saying retry, fear not. Here you'll say goodbye to those update headaches. From the Microsoft website, most of these update errors are caused by incorrect Windows recovery environment size settings. When Windows recovery environment is not allocated enough space, it can trigger update issues, leading to frequent interruptions and errors during the update process. Adjusting the Windows recovery environment size appropriately can help resolve these issues and ensure smoother updates. You will need to manually resize your partition by 250 megabytes using command prompt as an administrator. The link to this page is in the description below. Type CMD on the search bar to open command prompt, ensure you run it as an administrator. Input the command step by step as shown. It guides on how to manually resize your recovery partition. Firstly, check the Windows recovery environment status by using the following command. If the Windows recovery environment is installed, there should be a location with a path to the Windows recovery environment directory. We will need to disable the Windows recovery environment using the following command. Once the operation becomes successful, we will now open the disk part command so that we can shrink the operating system partition and prepare the disk for a new recovery partition. We first need to use the list disk command to list the disks available so that we can select the one carrying the operating system. From the first command we inputted, we can easily identify the disk carrying the operating system. Remember, the disk should be the same disk index as the Windows recovery environment. Once identified, use the select disk command to make the intended disk active. To check the partition under the selected disk and find the operating system partition, run the list part command. We now have to select the partition and make it active using the select part command. Once the partition carrying the operating system is made active, type the command as displayed, the desired equals 250 specifies the desired size of the partition after shrinking in megabytes. Minimum equals 250 sets the minimum size to which the partition can be shrunk also in megabytes. This command would shrink the Windows recovery environment partition to a size of 250 megabytes, ensuring that it meets both the desired and minimum size requirements. Once disk part says it has shrunk the volume successfully, we now need to set the partition as primary using the following command. Keep in mind that this command only applies to MBR or master boot record disks. If you have your disks in the GPT partition style, please refer in the link in the description. Executing this command would create a primary partition with the designated partition ID on the disk. The ID equals 27 is commonly associated with the hidden NTFS partition. Now we will need to perform a quick format with the NTFS file system and assign a label to it using the following command. The format quick specifies a quick format process which doesn't scan the disk for bad sectors. While the format fs equals ntfs sets the file system to ntfs. The label equals of Windows RE tools assigns the labeled Windows RE tools to the formatted partition. Executing this command would swiftly format the partition with the ntfs file system and label it as Windows RE tools. To confirm that the Windows recovery environment partition is created, run the list volume command. We will now need to exit the disk part service so that we can activate back the Windows recovery environment. To re-enable Windows recovery environment, use the following command. I hope this video has empowered you with the knowledge and tools to address Windows update woes effectively. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and troubleshooting guides to help you navigate the digital world with confidence. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest content. Thanks for watching.